Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick overview on my quiz or exam management system project. I'm using NetBeans ID, MySQL database and JFrame. So let me run this project. And I'm also going to create videos on this project at how I just created this project. And so please hit like and subscribe my channel. And if you need directly the source code of this project, just go to the comment section, comment with your email address. And this one is our first page. Here you can see three buttons. The first one is for the student module and next button is for the admin module and the last button is for the exit this application. So first we are moving to the admin module and in this I'm going to show you how, how to add new questions and delete and all I will explain you. First here you can see this is a login page uh, for the security purpose. Okay, so I just said the username as QEMS quiz exam management system and the password I just said to the admin okay and if you need to want, uh, want to uh, see the password you just need to click here and I just uh, make wrong here password and when we try to log in you can see there's a pop-up message incorrect username and password and here you can see a different thing the default icon of G option pan is also get changes and the color of G option pan is also get changes so in upcoming videos, I will also explain you how I just changes this all. Okay, let me click on OK. Let me remove one from admin password and let me click on login. Okay, here you can see this one is our home page for the admin. Here you can see the navigator bar which have which having options like add new question, update questions, all questions, delete questions, all student results. Here you can see that and after that log out and exit buttons. So first we are moving to the all add new questions. So let me click on this and here you can see that before moving to the adding new questions first I am going to show you when we click on update question now there you can see a pop-up message one form is already open and in the previous projects it happens that when we click on others it open another forms but in this project it restrict you have to close the first form and after that you need to open another form okay so this is uh, in this way I am improving my project also okay so now we are adding new question here you can see this is question ID it automatically generated is okay so let me write any question okay all the keyword keyword in C R N just need to write the option lower case okay and we have to write letters and one by one we are writing the options upper case letters okay after that we are writing camel case letters okay after that the last is none of this okay and the correct answer is a option one you can say lower case we just need to copy this and click on an answer just need to and save it when we save it you can see a pop-up message when we click on ok you can see it saves and it moves to the that same page but you can see the question id get changes okay and here we write something and there's a clear button when you click on clear it remove all the field details and there's a button that one is close when we click on this it get close that form okay after that update question now I just want to update changes like we in a wrongly enter some wrong details let me search it and you can see when we enter the ID it display all the details of that question okay and after that this ID section is only readable we cannot edit this so if you want to change the ID you just need to clear on clear okay and after that you can see we are uh, again we are able to write the question ID now again I'm writing a level okay now you just want to like uh, option 2 is a correct answer and you just need to change the answer just up save you can see successfully updated let me search it again okay and you can see up uh, uppercase you can see here the answer is now looking uh, the correct answer is locus so again we are going to change it to, to the lowercase okay let me save it okay let me close this after that the next is all question when we click on this it will display all the questions we have you can see question number one id 
uh, what is uh, what is of the following is the valid variables and all you can see all the details of the questions options you can see the answer here you can see all the details of all the questions you can see here and after that we having another option that's when is delete question like you just want to delete any question i just want to delete 11 number question just need to search for that and if you are entered the incorrect question id just need to clear this and get cleared and again you are started again you can write here I just write it 11 question number ID. I just want to delete. Just click on delete. Successfully deleted. Click on OK. And I just again want to search for the ID 11. Click on search. You can see question ID does not exist. Let me move to the all question. You can see we don't have 11 number question. Okay. And uh, the next is all student result. I will explain you after the student module. Okay. So let uh, there's a two buttons the logout and exit. When we click on exit, it directly close this application. So I'm just moving to the logouts so that I can get back to here. And this was in first page, index page. And here I'm just moving to the student module. Let me click on the student module. Okay. And this one is the first page for the students. Here students have to enter all the details about him. Like first you have to enter the roll number. I'm just entering the roll number. After that, you have to enter the God of name here. After that, you have to enter the father's name one by one. You have to enter all the details. Kumar, and after that, mother name, Isha Kumari. And after that, you can see it the gender here, male. So I'm just leaving it. And after that, you have to enter the contact number. I'm just entering the contact number. Okay. After that, email address one by one. You have to enter all the details. You can see here gmail.com. After that, you can see there's a, yeah, I'm using placeholder. To the to so what what we have to enter in this to so CBSC I'm just writing here we have to enter the percentage so I'm writing here 80 plus 82 percent and the passing passing out here so for that I'm just writing 2012 after that we are writing the university where we are reading the 12 okay after that we have to write the percentage like 75 percent and one by one we are have to fill all the details of this okay and graduation a key to you i'm just writing here percentage i just secured 58 percent after that 2018 i just pass out after that we have to enter the details like i'm just writing greater noida okay up i'm just writing here india okay and after that you can just need to save and next we will move to the next section can see this one is our instruction page here we have to in read all the instructions the students may not have to carry and all you can see and here you can see the numbers of question exam duration and all you can see the details okay when we click on start queues it moves to the next page and quiz is started so let me click on this and here you can see this one is our page exam or quiz page you can see the timer is started running you can see seven second eight second nine second it is started running okay and here you can see all the details roll number one double zero two five you can see the name god of kumar and the total questions you can see the 10 and the question number you can see also one first question yeah and the, we also can see the marks we have zero 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 this one is the first question we did not attempt any question so first we are in attempting this question this one is the correct answer we are moving to the next button and when we click on next, we will move to the next question. We cannot get back to our previous question. Okay. So let me click on next. And you can see this one is a correct answer. That's why it's showing your marks is one. And the, you can see the question number is also get changes. Okay. So this one is a correct answer, but we are going to select this answer. Okay. Just click on next. You can see the question number get changes, but your marks does not changes. But, and you can see this question answer is C. Okay. Let me click on next. You can see question number four we moved and the marks is two. Let me do, let me select anyone overloading next and select anything. You can see marks get changes. Okay, updated next. In the same way we are selecting any answer. Okay, no, I'm just selecting. You can see marks increases. Let me select this. And we reach to our 10th question. Which of the following cannot be the variable? Okay, we're just writing the this one. Okay, and when we reach to the 10 question, you can see there's a next button get invisible. We cannot uh, here 
you cannot see the invisible button here okay and time taken you started and it's, it's running okay and for and when you reach to the last question you need to submit just need to submit and do you really want to submit you just need to select no if you want not want to submit and if you click on yes it will move to the next page with your score okay that one is the correct answer so it shows that marks obtained is successfully submitted here you can see that when we close this and here we again move to the first page index page and i just want to see the details of that student we secure six marks so just me use exam management system okay and the password is the admin let me click on login and here i just move to the all student results section here you can see the 10025 gaurav kumar details and here okay here you can see the six six marks okay and and there's a option you getting a text field filter a student by marks okay so here you just need to enter the like i just want to a student who has secured marks equal to 6 or more than 6 so i just need to write 6 and if you write here 7 you can see all the details of the students get removed from our field when we write jizo you can see it's still not uh, happening anything because we having secured marks more than that value okay when we write here seven get deleted eight get deleted all the details have get be removed okay so in this way we can uh, filter the students by their marks okay let me show you one more thing in our project i just not uh, display you let me let me fill this detail now here you can see we enter all the details now let me click on save next okay now we move to the instruction page let me start this now here you can see that the time is started now we have to submit one like we answer only one question and we just want to submit so we just need to click on submit and when we click on yes it successfully saved and it close our questions all the and we can also see the all the details here let me move to the admin module and quiz exam management system and let me move to the password is admin and let me log in and here you can see the details and marks of that student ankit kumar and here you can see the marks is 1 okay so any student can submit a, their form at any time or he, they can quit the exam at any time now it also happens that some students take more than 10 minutes duration of the time so uh, it automatically gets submitted when it to reach to the 10 minutes so let me change in little bit code and make it as 6 second when we reach to the 6 second it automatically get closed okay form or saved so let me change it to little bit in code in it and let me this run project again so it started running it's taking few seconds now here i just fill up all the details let me click on next and let me start again examination we having only 6 second so let me answer two questions here okay let me click on next you can see it automatically saved and you can see obtain marks here it automatically save we did not submitted our quiz so let me check in our admin module that it uh, saved or not quiz exam management system okay admin the password is and let me go to the login let me see the all student details So here you can see the marks of that student one triple zero four. The roll number is, and here you can see the marks too. Let me filter the students to secure marks more than two or equal to the two. Like if you can see the one one marks student has get removed from this table. Okay, so this is all about my quiz or exam management system project. I hope you guys like this video. So please hit like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.